Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome to something I never saw coming. I didn't even know this was in the works or anything. This just sort of was a happy Valentine's Day gift. Um, welcome to the Ruby deck builder game, or the Ruby, I think, online card game? I'm not sure, but either way, I'm kind of excited because I like Ruby and I like card games, and this has piqued my interest. I literally just opened it up, it then had to make me reconnect because apparently it was having problems, but whatever, we're on! And uh, this is kind of just why I opened up. I just thought, oh, yeah, I'll we'll just start recording from the beginning and just we can play through it and have some fun. I don't know what this game's really all about. It's about cards, I guess. And I saw like it has like an online face-off against up to three friends thing. So I don't know. This seems like a really interesting game of nothing else. So blah. let's give it a go, eh? So welcome to Ruby Deck Builder Game. I'm Professor Osborn, and it will be my and it'll be my pleasure to take you on a tour of this game. Sure, let's do that because I have no idea what I'm getting into here. At the top of the screen is the settings menu. Then you can optimize your gaming your experience, da da da. Menu will give you access to some useful features. Let's check them out. Okay, can I, what, what, what do you want me to do? Oh, menu, okay. Da da da. The menu contains a variety of da 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 da. Okay, I, I, oh, uh, let's go in the tutorial then. Yes, let's do that. The tutorial makes sense. Let's do the tutorial first. Yo, I love this art here. Right, so, okay. Now, I like card games, and I've played the like, occasional random ones and stuff, but I, the, the main one everyone that knows I like playing is Yu-Gi-Oh, obviously. But I have not played other things. I've played things like Deck Masters before. I've actually played the Deck Masters PS2 game, because that's flying somewhere in my room somewhere. Um, along like others. But yeah, um, but Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Gi -Oh being the main one. Pokemon's probably a secondary one after that, because I had like, lots of the real cards and stuff. I did a lot of Deck Master cards too. Um, but yeah, so a Ruby card game. Ruby has a board game thing. It has cards in it. But it's, a, it's in the American store, and I've never got to play it. Plus, even if I did get the board game, I need another pers physical person to play it against. And I don't know one in my local area, or near me, or, like, at all that likes Ruby like I do. So, blah. This is, like, a, a dream. If we're actually just playing, like, a Ruby card game, I can play against other people and stuff. I can play against the anime squad. That's going to be amazing. Oh. But anyway, at the start of each game, drag one of the available champions to the lower left of the corner. Okay, so drag Ruby over here. Okay, right, so we're playing against Napoleon, uh, right, so next you and your, uh, you and the other player will each draw a starting hand of five cards, which, uh, you can see at the bottom screen, and we can also see our opponents, apparently, so that's cool, okay, so, okay, da -da. each turn you'll play the cards in your hand to produce power and various other effects. Right, oh my god, we got Ruby thing there, we got, is that Mercury, yeah, Mercury, a bunch of white fang people. The poly looks amazing. Okay, but alright, what's well, so, it? Let's see if we can figure this out. So, the basic cards you see here are what comprise of the rest of your 10 card starting deck. Wait, we only have 10 cards to start? You only get 10 cards in this game? What? You can drag the cards from your hand into the play area uh, or use the play all button to play all your cards. Okay. So, go ahead and play all of them now. So, play all. Courage, courage, doubt, courage, doubt. Wait, what does that even mean? Well done. The power your cards generated for the turn is tracked in the area in the upper part of the screen. So, three. Okay. Power is the resource used to purchase cards, so they will be added into your deck. Right? Also, I'm going to just turn the music down a tad bit more, because I, I don't know if it's copyright. No, I hope it's not copyright. But, uh, yeah, I don't trust it. Da, da, da. It will reset to zero at the end of uh, the turn. So try not to get, let any go to waste. Okay, so this is uh, is called the lineup, and it's the place where cards of the main deck are dealt out for players to buy. The cost of each card is found in the bottom right corner. So yeah, cost seven, two, four, six, five. So da da da. Ah, uh, the, the, the bottom right corner, and it's paid for using the power resource. So you generate power, and that lets you buy cards to then use? Okay. Let's buy a new card by spending our power. The card uh, we can afford will glow around the edges. So, well, we can afford Neptune. I was saying Mercury there, actually. Not Mercury, obviously. So, yeah, uh, drag the card you wish to purchase to your discard pile at the bottom right of the screen. To my discard pile? Why would I discard it? Great choice. Buying better cards will improve your deck and help you produce more power. You will also notice a number within a star. Yes, they do actually. At the bottom left of the car cards. These are victory points, VP. 
The player has the most points when the game ends is the winner. Okay, so we're trying to get rack up victory points. That's how you win. Okay. The total of these points you get, uh, you gained will show up in a star icon next to your character portraits. So, here. So, wait. Wait, what? But I'm... I thought I was John. No, but I guess I'm Ruby because Ruby's there. But I thought they're Napoleon. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Alright, anyway. Uh, da, da, da. We'll show up in the star icon next to your character's portrait at the top of the screen. When a player's turn is over, any card played or remaining in their hand will go to your discard pile. You will also draw a new hand of cards and line up gets refilled. Okay, so yeah, click and turn, but So they all go in the discard pile. We now get Courage, Doubt, Courage, Crescent Rose, and Burst of Speed. And they got the exact same as us. Okay. The times we are, uh, this time we're able to draw the two signature cards Ruby contributed to our deck. So, Crescent Rose and Burst of Speed. So, using Ruby, we got that. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and play the card Burst of Speed from your hand, even though we have zero cards in our deck. So wait, what does it do? Like, can I read these? Like, is that okay? Like, can I, can I actually just... Oh, there we go. We can, oh, yeah, we can make them bigger and read them. So, look at the top two cards in your deck. Discard one and draw the other. Okay. Notice the cards in the discard were shuffled and became our new deck. Now discard the doubt. So when you run out of cards, the cards in the discard become your deck. Wait, what? So now we're going to buy doubt because we have zero points. So P2 uh, two to transform this card into courage. Okay. Notice the card in the discards. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Uh, play the rest of your hand. Wait, what, what just happened? I don't know. Whatever. Wait, hold on. What did you do? So... Pay three to transform this into Valor. Wait, but that doesn't... Oh, it just... Okay, it says there, so that's plus one. Plus one, plus one. Yeah, plus two. And this one just says pay two to transform it. How do you transform it? I guess that's not an ongoing thing. So, <clears throat> doing this, we'll get plus five, right? No, we got seven. How the fuck did we get seven? <laughs> Wait, what? I go ahead and buy Yatsuhashi. Okay, so I'll put him in there. So, when you defend with this card, plus three power, what do you mean defend? We can clearly see that uh, we have three power remaining, but there are no cards we can afford to line up. We can, however, upgrade a card we played. Ah! So there we go. So we can use that power rather than buying a new card, we can upgrade one. Okay, makes sense. Alright, so... Let's look at one of your courage cards. It says you can upgrade it for three power. Da da da. Right click your played courage and use three points to upgrade it, uh, pressing the upgrade button. So right click. Ah, okay. So now we can upgrade it to Valor. Which is that picture, I guess. Now we have no more points available. Go ahead and pass your turn to your opponent. But So by using that now, when we get that card back again, it's going to be even better. Okay, there's so many cards here. What the fuck? It's just all scenes from the show, but still. So wait, we're at two there. There are one there. Oh, because we've bought cards from there. Okay. So at this point now, we have 12 cards in our deck. Right. Also, that's doing a thing. If you look here, you can clearly see Grim Magic on this card. Sure, let's go with that. What the heck does this mean? This is called Decay. If you don't purchase a card or the boss, uh, this card will be sent to the Destroy Pile. So that card will just disappear, okay. I mean, don't really care about the White Fang Lieutenant, to be honest, so. <laughs> However, this turn, I will lend you a bit of my power so you can take down this boss. So you're going to cheat from me, Osman. Is that what it is? Believe in the heart of the cards, they said. Oh, wow, okay, thanks, Osman. If you purchase the boss, it will provide a powerful ability to your deck. Will it? So, wait, click the boss and press the pink gem to defeat it. Wait. Oh, Napoleon's the boss. Okay. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Put one at your discard pile and draw the rest. Okay, so wait, it's got eight stars. I think. Oh, so we use our 11 power to destroy that, which is the boss. And we guess it. I just done defeating a boss. Ahem. With a bit of help, that is. Wait, why wouldn't you just do that from the start? Why wouldn't you just... I mean, we're fighting an opponent, but still. When you buy a boss, it will retaliate 
and send an attack in your direction. Okay. Attacks are distributed effects that trigger at the start of your next turn. So, if you click the attack button here, it will show you all the incoming attacks your next turn. So, wait, what? Okay. Okay. Now, if we can just pass the turn so I can show you self-defense. So, that's what the defender cards are. It's what it says here, like Napoleon's. Can I? Ugh. Show me what you do. I have an incoming attack from Napoleon. That's all we care about. All right. End turn. All right, whatever. I didn't use any of my cards. So oh, well. Okay, so the twins have now become the boss. Okay, so your turn. Napoleon's going to attack. Okay. When attack begins, you'll be asked if you want to defend before it actually takes effect. What's the attack going to do, though? If you have a defense card in your hand, you may use that card to negate attack. I Yatsuhashi, that's a defense card. Let's use the card Yatsuhashi to negate this attack. Drag the defense card here. So, attack, gain three wounds. If you avoid this, gain a wound. But, wound what? What are you wounding? Like, my power up here? I guess? Oh, whatever. So, yeah, okay. So, when this, when you defend with this card, plus three power. It has four defense. Okay. So, it's four defense. So, defending attack is optional. So, if you are facing multiple attacks, you can choose which one to defend. And plus, I get three power for that as well. Uh, that should be enough training for now. Go ahead and finish the match on your own. <laughs> that should have been. I'm so confused still, but okay. Once the final boss and the stack of cards is defeated, the match will end. So, like, uh, there's two more bosses? Okay. Good luck, Trini. Okay, so, like, oh my god, there's so many cards, though. What am I meant to do? I don't know. Alright, well, we're as well putting you up. And we're as well putting you up. And, like, I could buy that art. Uh, I don't know what I'm meant to do! <laughs> Alright, you know, I'm as, I'm as well just playing all, aren't I? Because that's what we're taught to. Just play all. That's what to do. So now we could attack the boss, right? But then we'll have nothing to defend us. So we might as well buy a card, right? So... Or do we? I don't know. Oh, See, I want that. Or do I just upgrade? Yeah, I'm buying that. Give me that. Then use my last two points to upgrade you. There we go. In turn. Don't know what I'm doing, so might as well. Right, so they use Crushy Murse, Valor, da, 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 they bought the White Fang Lieutenant. Okay, they're up to three. Oh, yeah, because we're getting stars for doing this, aren't we? Okay, so, um, yeah, so if I bought that one there, I get two, right? Yes. Also, I just gained boss here, which. Look at the top three cards of your deck, put one in your discard pile, and draw the rest. What if I just put that in there? Okay, don't do that. So. Just pee all. Play all. Just keep playing all. Keep playing all. Burst of speeds. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You pick one. You wait. So take that. I know that's great. Take that. Yeah, we draw Yatsuhashi that way. Napoleon. Wait, what? Oh yeah, we do a thing, don't we? Um. I'm so confused. <laughs> so confused. Wait, can we just keep playing? Can we just play more? Screw it, play more. There we go. Um, Do I want something? I want that. That costs six. God, I wish I knew I was in. You know what, screw it. Let's attack this thing. Go for it. Kill it. You know, attack back, but I don't know what that's going to do. Okay, so yeah, that costs nine, which is the thing there. So we beat that. Now we're gonna get attacked back by that next turn. I still, I still have points left. Um, yeah, so we can buy this. So what does this do? Uh, put the next card you buy or gain from the lineup this turn to the top of your deck. Pay six to upgrade this. Sure, whatever. Let's take that. There we go. End turn. So there's one boss left. We're at eighteen points. We're about to get attacked in a second. The spider drone's now the boss. Okay. They're they're doing things. 
Okay, so we're getting attacked. We have anything? No, no, we don't. Attack, discard two random cards if you avoid this. Discard a card. Wait, what? Discard two random cards if you avoid this. Discard a card. Um, I don't have anything, so um, I'm just going to take the hit. What did that do? <laughs> it made me lose cards. Okay, so now I just play all. And then, okay, that's getting nine health. So I need, I need to get newer stuff, I guess. So I guess we take this. We're up to that. And then I have nothing else left, so just end turn. Well, I'm confused still. Da da da. Okay. So now, attack! Target foe! Discard a card. Who wants to upgrade this? Yeah, just play them all. Just play them all! Oh, Napoleon. Oh, yeah. Um, pay to transform this into doubt. Wait. Oh. Wait, what? Why would we ever play that? Did I play that? I think I played that before. Oh, well. Anyway, let us take... Wait, what is Chris? What is... Let's put it that way. Put it that way. There we go. There we go. Put it that way. Oh, hello. That's cool. Um, yeah. Keep playing. Wait, can we just can we just kill him and end this? Like I, I don't know what I'm doing still, so yeah, let's just kill this thing. Like we have the power to do this. Yeah. There we go. Do we win? We did it! We did apparently! Okay! <laughs> I got 25 points. I'm so confused to how this works. Okay. So, we get 20 points via boss and a bunch of other things. Okay. This is a confusing game to get your head around. Or at least it is from here. So, we got 20, I assume, dust. Yeah, there we go. Dust up there. A game well played in its own, uh, is its own rewards. But some prefer treasure that is a bit more tangible. Click on the shop button and we can see what other perks accompany victory. Okay, so, wait, where's the shop? But, ah, in-game thing, in-game parts. That, yes, this is a free-to-play game, by the way. Free-to-play game. I'll probably, if I can remember, I'll put a link down below. It's just, it's on Steam. It's on, apparently, um, the portable store. I, I forget the name of it. The app store. Uh, yeah, that's all things. And the shop allows you the opportunity to purchase additional game content, as well as cosmetic items. Okay. So, click on the themes button to see some of these cosmetics, like battle boards and sleeves. Da, da, da. Battle boards and sleeves allow you to customize an image, uh, customize the images on your card backs and the play card area for cards when you host a game. You get these items with a currency called dust that you can earn through gameplay. So, yeah, we've got 10 for the basic beacon one. To get ready, it's 2,000. Oh, that's going to take a while. Da, da, da. What's that? You want to borrow some dust from me? I suppose I can spare a small amount. Oh. He, he lent 10. Okay, so he lent 10 so we, we don't have to spend our own. Cool. Uh, now use that dust to get the Ruby Welcome Sleeve. Part chess. Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of the Ruby Welcome Sleeve. Isn't it wonderful? Wait, where is it? Did you lose it already? Why don't we check in your locker? Okay. Click on the return home button. There we go. Locker! The locker contains all the items you've collected throughout the game. So, click on this sleeve button so that we can find the sleeve you just purchased. Sleeves. I own 4% of them. Okay. Put that one. Good, good. Now the next time you would like to change your sleeve, you know where to go. Now that you've equipped your new sleeve, we'll show up in the next match. Uh, we'll show up in the next match you play. Let's jump straight uh, to a game and get a good look at this sleeve in action. Once again, we press the home button to go back. There are quite a few variations of game modes available to us, but I feel the bounty mission will be the particular interest to you, will it? Click the bounty button here. Here's where we track all the bounty missions. Each day you will win a match, it will complete a single node. Okay. When you complete seven bounty missions, you unlock a reward. So it's a daily login, daily reward thing. Makes sense. You'll notice the rewards for our, for this seven days bounty mission is to unlock a new game mode. Shall we get started? Let's start a game to get underway. I probably should have done this. I, I should have played this yesterday when it first came out. I'm playing this on the 15th. I should have played it on the 14th and it would have been a day closer. But oh well, too late. Uh, first use... Uh, for your first seven-day bounty mission, 
I'll only put you up against EI opponents. Oh, oh wait, so normally you go up against people for that then. Interesting. This is a weird game. All right, so I did it to the defender to your starting at. You know what? Screw it. I'd Pira in. Let's use Pira. My God, the art looks amazing in this. Like these. Okay, so there's our boss. Fake. I have no idea what I'm doing again. All right, play out. That's why, wouldn't you? Right, so pumpkin. Right, so we get two points because, of course, we could upgrade one, which would make sense. Uh, defense. All uh, at the start of your turn, reveal this card to avoid the attack. That could be useful. Plus, it will get his one star point thing. Wait, what's the minus one there? Oh, that's a plus one. Okay, yeah, take that. This is coming with us. Pierre's voice sounds weirdness. Okay, 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 okay. So now the opponent does something. They've, they've got a lot of things, okay. Wait! There's two opponents! Oh ho ho! Well then! So right, here's the thing. So if we beat the boss, we get seven points. We get attacked after, which means we'll lose cards and stuff, but we get seven points for that. So beating the boss is essential for winning. Well, not essential. Like, you could probably do it other way. Like, you could probably win if you have lots of points here. The boss is like a, a quick way to win. Also, there's eight bosses this time. Oh my god, these games are going to be so long. Right, so, um... Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, since we're not going to be, like, attacking the boss, we're fine just to leave, throw all these cards out, I guess. Unless there's cards that can attack us. Plus, we just draw the cards. So, yeah, play that as well. Play that as well. Right, so we've got six points available, so we should spend some, get others, I guess. Um... Uh, ba, 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 ba. If you play a card, uh, well, if you play or have played two more cards, plus five. Wait, what? Plus five power? That sounds good, Professor Port. Is that like? Does that bore someone to death? All right, no. Let's upgrade. Let's spend the turn upgrade. Let's like upgrade you to Valor, because Valor is better. And I don't want to gain a win. That sounds terrible. What do you do? If you play, if you have play or have played an equipment or villain this turn, plus two power. Uh, defense. At the start of your turn, reveal this card to avoid attack. It's three defense points. You know what? Let's purchase Professor Port, shall we? Yes. Yeah, I'm sure I won't regret adding him to my grip. Right, okay. So, things have started off nice as nice. Don't know what any of these cards do. <laughs> Oh my god, it's gonna take a while to learn this stuff, isn't it? It really is. Of course, he bought that one. That one looked shiny. That one looked nice. Okay. So, 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 so. Upgrade. Pay two to transform this card into courage. Da, 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 da. Okay, so those don't do anything for me. Uh, defense. At the start of your turn, reveal this card. Da, da, da. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna have very much, am I? I'm really not. I have two points, so I'm as well just, yeah, upgrade you. The better thing. Play the long game, as it were. That card disappeared. Makes sense. Okay. So we're now behind. But we've upgraded. Oh, hello. Crap, he's gonna... Yeah, he afforded that, so he got more points. Oh, we're gonna... We're definitely gonna lose this. Oh, hello. You're attacking. Your upgrade costs are increased by two this turn. Okay, so the attack just puts an effect on me. I mean, I'm just gonna I'm gonna pop Professor Poor up there. What's this? Destroy pile. Oh, wait. Okay, that sound effect's mental. Uh right, okay, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Play out. Okay, so what have we got? We've got Feature our weight fine good and you own plus one power. We don't have any of those. I mean, Arena, ongoing. Once during your turn, when you play on action, draw a card. When you play an action. Okay. No, okay. We want Yatsuhashi. Because he was good. Yes. Yes. We want Yatsuhashi. Also, wait. We can still afford stuff. Um, Or we could upgrade. Which would be smarter. Yes. There we go. One point remaining, nothing to do with it. So wait, is that attack is that attack gonna go to someone else now? Is that gonna attack someone? 
Or did him playing that mean that Az can attack someone else? I'm so confused how this works. How do you attack people? Why did that bullet Az attack me? Like, what's going on here? Ah, okay. Ursa there. We want that because that gives... No, wait. No, we don't. Why am I saying that? Well, it gives two, though. Okay, whatever. Just play, play our cards down. Play the cards down. Right, so wait, what do you do? You're... Yeah, plus two. Uh, target foe destroys a Valor in their hand or discard pile. If they can't, they gain a wound. Okay, a creep. Attack. Target foe downgrades a basic card on their discard pile. Okay. Draw a card. Your upgrade costs are reduced by one this turn. Okay, that's for getting, right? I have literally no things left. <laughs> ah! Right, grab that. that was satisfying. Sure. Whatever. But behind, but... I want to believe we can get... <laughs> oh! We're getting all the good ones. Okay, now we're just purchasing multiple. Oh, but it doesn't matter. If we beat the boss, it won't matter. Like, so long as we just beat the boss at the end. That's all that really matters, right? Right? We get to draw an arc thing. Play that as well. There we go. Right, eight points this time. Um, Probably should buy stuff. Or we upgrade that so it actually does something. Osbin, wait. Osbin's here. Oh, that, that's a lot. Yes, buy that. Yeah, that's plus two. Plus, it's just it's just a free draw card. So we meet again. Yeah, worth getting. Get that. Oh, this is going to be such a long game. I mean, okay, I know I'm saying that. But yeah, like, straight away there. Now that they've built up enough things so they actually can, like, just destroy them. And I get lots of points. Okay. Like, once you start building up lots of points in one go, then suddenly, like, you're, yeah. Oh, hello. How you thought. That's twice now they've attacked me. There's a reason for that. Ah, oh, whatever. Play do, 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 Play. Right, we get eight points. Um, do, 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 do. um. If you play or have played an action or an hero this turn, plus two power. Defense. The star of each turn. Da, da. Look at this thing. Attack. Target foe downgrades a card. Da, da, da. Or am I just better just buying stuff? Let's go just buy it. Buy a weight fang. Buy a, an equipment? Or a defense? Uh, yeah, no, put the, get this one. It's been sitting there for ages. Let's just grab that too. There we go. I think I've, I, th I don't think I'm doing this right. Ah. <laughs> oh. How do we make that do something? Wait, there's an attack lined up. Again, they've, they've lined up an attack against me. Okay. Um. Fast support. There we go. That worked. Still confused. Still confused. Right, okay. Um. Wait, no, 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 back, 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 Wait, what was... Oh, wait, if I right-click an attack card, can I make it attack someone? Oh, that would make sense. Why haven't I done that? Oh. Okay, Crow's getting an interesting effect. Right, okay, let's get Doubt upgraded. So it's like that, so it actually does something for us. Let's get that upgraded. So that does something for us. Let's end our turn. Get everything upgraded. So that, you know, actually does stuff for us. Because, yeah, no, they've got a lot of power cards. They're, they're doing much better because of that. Oh, that's... Oh, no, they're going to get Coco. Oh. Look at this. Yeah, okay, they're beating the boss this turn. Oh, Jesus. To be fair, they're going to get attacked, though, for it. <laughs> okay, um. I don't think I'm getting a hang of this game. Oh, no, they didn't take Coco, actually. Well, I'm taking Coco then, because that's. Yeah, that's plus a bunch. Give me that. Also, wait, play that down. I can also buy this. 
Or I can upgrade. Yeah, actually, yeah, upgrade. Get everything upgraded to the max. Worth it. Do I have any defense cards? I do not. Oh my fucking god, they're destroying all the bosses really quickly. Oh dear. I am not doing well this game. <laughs> Wait, what? Put a card on top of your deck. Um, Fick. Put that away. I don't need that. Fick, I just drew that again. Keep playing cards. 10. That's not enough. Adam is 12. Oh, you fecker. Oh, when you buy or getting this card, getting a wound. I don't want a wound, but that's worth points. Draw a card. You may destroy a card in your hand or, or discard pile. Okay, don't want to do that. Um, Draw a card. That's worth so much power, though. You know what? Screw it. I will take a wound. I will take a wound. I will also upgrade you. And I'll upgrade you. I'd like to upgrade you again, but apparently I can't because I only have one point left. Whatever. I've done this all wrong. To be fair, it's my first game. The computer is not exactly holding back. It's not taking it easy on me the slightest. It's just going for it. Oh, this is such a confusing game, though. Well, it's not confusing. Like, it's just... You pretty much just have to know which each card, like, what good cards are worth getting and stuff and what's worth taking and kind of have a strategy going in. Because the basic idea is get lots and lots of stars. But you also want to be building up enough points here so you can defeat the bosses. And defeat points, you want to be upgrading your cards, but also buying cards that are going to be able to give you a lot of power. So, I mean, okay, play And plus cards to let you draw more cards, but also have defense cards in case you get attacked and stuff. There's, there's a few things you want to do in this game. Okay, so Neptune's a good one straight away because that's plus two. Um, uh, defense. When you defend this card, you may destroy a card. Wait. When you defend this card, you may destroy a card in your hand or discard pile. Interesting. What do you do? Target foes. Discard. Uh, target foe discards a card. Upgrade. Pay one to upgrade this card. I want to take this. Now I've got five. I might as well just take. Once per turn during a. When you play a hero, draw a card. I have heroes. I have heroes. Yeah, grab that, actually. Screw it. I'm just... I'm not building up enough, though, to, to fight these guys. Like, I need a big turn where I put down a lot of stuff. I need to defeat bosses quickly. <laughs> yeah, look at this guy. Okay, now I only got eight. Okay. 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 Is my time to shine? Let's play all. Play all. There we go. So we're up to now. Uh, it's only nine. Uh. Right. Uh, what does this stuff do? Winner, what do you do? For each action or equipment you play or have, play this turn. Draw one card. Yeah, take that. Upgrade those two. That'll be all my cards up to Valor now, I think. In turn. You know, sooner or later, I will get a hand where I can actually do something. Sooner or later. Oh. Oh, yeah, they've got the bosses. That's why they're getting so much. Dear, oh, dear. All right, play out. And, oh, wait. Put a card back on top. Put that back down. Okay. Play that down. Right, nine points to game. <laughs> It's not enough. Wait, hold on. Oh, that's worth getting. Oh, grab that. Grab that too. Like, I defeated no bosses. I've still got 17 points up. Dear, oh dear. Oh, no. That's bad. Roman next. 11, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing this. I am absolutely losing. Play all. Oh, wait, that just stays forever. No, it stays until the end of this turn. Okay, 10 points. Still not enough. Oh. 
Oh, wait, that was minus one. I didn't even realize that. Oh, whatever. Right, okay, so what have we got? We've got more basic stuff that I could use. Um... Don't want that. Kinda do. Hmm. Okay, no. Right. P upgrade you. Upgrade you. Then buy that. Awesome. That'll transform. Buy that. End turn. I need to defeat. I need to defeat like all the remaining bosses. Or I'm screwed. <laughs> I don't get okay. This is the problem that I bet I'm getting too many cards is a problem now. I'm thinking I've got that many cards now that like I'm not getting lineups of ones I need Or something Maybe I don't know They're just buying cards kill cool. my turn Play off. Wait is that going still going? <gasps> I can do it Yes Kill him There we go. Huzzah! We're back in the game, kind of. Oh dear. You can see it like with four people, this is gonna take ages. Actually, it depends. It depends how quickly you beat the bosses, and they've just defeated the other bosses. Yeah, okay, we're not we're not winning this. They're winning. There's no way I can win now. Defend! I have three attacks coming up. Oh my god. I have nothing either. <laughs> Wait, what? Draw two cards. I've got to destroy that. Oh. What the fuck? Why am I the only one that gets attacked? I'm the only one that gets attacked with these people. Oh, well, that was fair. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> Being a boss just screwed me. Well, okay. That plus, like, everyone else is saying to put attacks on me. How do you attack people? Why does no one else get attacked? Because the computer's working on its little... Oh, whatever, the computer wins. How did I give up? How did I just give up? It's been a waste. I've lost. Am I getting attacked again? Oh, uh, fantastic. I don't even know what that did. Right, go. Keep playing. I can defeat the boss. I think I die doing it, whatever. Just do it. Just do it. Oh, end the game. Just do it. We're not going to win. Let's face it. We're never going to win. We came second, though. That's that's going to count for something, right? Probably not. Why is the game still going? There we go. So, yeah, I got second. Zah. Oh, this game is... This game is some. So we get 10 points for that. And we get 10 dust for that. Impressive. You clearly have improved. <laughs> Mate, I lost. I got destroyed. I still, like, I... I ah. Oh, this is a weird game. Like, it's interesting, though. Like, once you learn, start learning their effects, you know which card you want to play when, or which card you want to have, which card you don't want to have, or which cards maybe line up together better, and possibly strategies and stuff. Yeah, I can see this being fun, but it's so confusing getting my head around this. Anyway, uh, I don't really defend it, but it's the place to play. Go ahead and do that now. I don't want to. You can't make me. Ah. Here you can see a variety of ways to play a game. Okay. Ooh. A quick match automatically pairs you up against uh, two other opponents, uh, two other players, and awards you an amount of dust after the competition is played. Create game. In here, you'll be able to customize your own match with a combination of player and or AI opponents. Uh, if you leave a game and would like to return to the match, you can find it here. So basically save a game against an, uh, an AI opponent. Cool. Um, any games you still have in progress will be saved here and will occupy a game save slot. Search for games hosted online by other hunters and huntresses and join for some online fun. And then there's a bunch of ones that are clearly locked. You clearly know enough now to get started on your own. Yeah, I'll take your word for it, mate. I get confused. Continue your training by playing games and earning dust. I'll check back on you soon with more words of wisdom. Right. Well then. Oh, I can just drag it. Kill. Cool. Okay. Well, we're going to head right back. So, um. Pending. I still haven't won yet. Oh, dear. 
Right, okay. Well, that'll do us for today. Um, this game. Art looks beautiful. Cool, we've got cards and stuff. Not exactly great at the game, but I gave it a go. It's kind of fun. Like, it's kind of fun, but you got to, like, you've got to, it's got to work it out. It's not, oh. I mean, it is strategy, because, like, you know what's going to, you know which cards are going to come next if you've, like, played them down and stuff. Like, you can figure out, you can basically see which cards are going to come next. Depending on what your opponent does, you can see what they're, oh. There's still features I need to figure out. I need to figure out the attacking feature, for one, so my card can attack and do damage to the opponent. That would be useful, but. Yeah, okay. I kind of like this game. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna try and play more of it and try to understand it. Might stream it or something. See if I can get Pat or Mitra or like Zara or Immo. I can actually get them all because it's free to play. They've got no reason not to. But yeah, like if I just, if I just try and get them on, try and get them to play some games against us, that could be fun. Da da da. We shall see. But all right then, people. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. This has been the Ruby. Well, it's called the deck bu building game. Because you technically are building a deck. I understand why it's called that now. Because you're building a deck of cards. To then use to defeat bosses and to gain star points. So yeah, the Ruby deck building game. Which, I don't know when it says that. It makes me think it's like an offline game where you're just you're building cards in for a deck or something. It's, it, uh, it's a weird thing for a game. But I mean, it, it, it makes sense. But yeah, it's odd. But yes, okay. Well, uh, this has been the Ruby deck building game. See you on next time for more of this. Goodbye, everybody.